Ironically, this movie is pretty fantastic. Holy shit. I had so much fun with this movie. I, I used to obsess over the Harry Potter books. I've read all of the Harry Potter books except for Deathly Hallows. For whatever reason, I never got around to reading the whole book. I've seen all the films, and I think the films are uh, a great ride and are actually a part of my childhood. Damn, forgot about that. Uh, Eddie Redmayne as the main character, Newt. He is perfect. When I, I, it's funny, when they were first showing him and uh, Jacob Kowalski in the bank, uh, like from the opening credits to there, I was kind of like, I don't know about Newt. Because he's, he's very socially awkward and quirky and he's just weird as fuck. You know, he talks weird, his body language is, 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 str is strange. After a while, it starts to become very en endearing. I thought that all of the cast, honestly, was sufficient. Everybody was good. I thought that, oh man, this moment between Newt and, and Tina at the end of the film, I was like, my God, man, just kiss the woman. My God. It leaves. And then he comes back and he's like, actually, can I give you my book in person? I was like, ha, my nigga, yes, Newt about to get some fucking dick or uh, some pussy tonight. I think the moment where the movie really took off for me was A, the opening credits and the opening sequence, uh, you know, starts here and then it goes and we're seeing like newspaper headlines. That was great. Oh my God, when I heard the piano score, you know, of the of the of the main theme song throughout Harry Potter. You know, you know that piano song. It's the main one throughout the whole cinematic Harry Potter franchise. That that song. Oh God, when those piano, when those pianos, when those pianos, when they start, it just gives me goosebumps. Just the Harry Potter theme. Ah, oh, it's so perfect. My God, is it perfect? Shit, it gives me goosebumps. And then when Newt and Jacob, when they go into the briefcase. From there, the movie just soared. I mean, it just soared. Holy shit, we get fantastic, uh, very suspenseful, dark scenes like this that I really appreciated. We get scenes of really great epic scale like this, or the, the inside of this building, which was glorious. By the way, this film in 3D was actually very strong, I felt. There's one moment between Ezra Miller and Colin Farrell where they're in a in a alleyway at night and the shadows are casting over them very heavily, very heavily, and, they're, and the two of them are just having a conversation. And that in 3D was just amazing, just seeing them both cloaked in darkness and then you can see the, the lit back end of the alleyway in the distance and like it just it looked great in 3d seriously uh, colin farrell was oh man he was so on point what well, he usually is on point but he was so on point as the uh, basically the villain of this film and i thought that ezra miller as credence i thought he did very well it was also interesting learning about the obscurus problem that ezra miller um, had that was interesting you know to kind of have like a magical parasitic um, entity inside you like that by the way I think these little creatures I think they're called nifflers or some shit just look at it god damn that cute little son of a bitch I wish I had like fucking five of those little those little sons of bitches I mean just look at them my god I, 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 need, I need one of those. Oh my God. And, and the, the woman who plays uh, Queenie, I think that's how you say her name. Oh my God. This woman in this film is so adorable. She's like the cutest woman I think I've seen cinematically so far this year. My God, was that woman adorable. Who is that woman? Damn. Jake is about to get it, son. Oh man, just the relationship between Jacob and her was so delightful. Holy shit. I, I was totally convinced. It was very well executed. I totally bought their chemistry and they had great chemistry as uh, actor as actors. And seriously, at the end of the film, when my main man, the Kowalski, had to walk into the rain, I was like, fuck, man. Ah, fuck, at least at least make out with her before you fucking run into the rain, grab a titty. 
oh my god, I had so much fun with this movie. All, all the, the wand battles, just, just so thrilling. Such a thrill. And I, I, just the way that they rendered New York was, was very well done. I gotta say, before we get to negatives, very well done. And again, when they, when J Jacob and Newt, when they entered the briefcase, oh my god, just the wonders and the sense of awe. Uh, was just extraordinary. Seeing all the creatures, it was almost as if like the inside of the briefcase was like a giant zoo with like movie sets, you know? Almost like a, you know, a magical creature movie studio zoo? Something like that? <laughs> That's kind of what it reminded me of. But it was so cool. Oh, and there was also one moment where the main characters, they mention uh, Hogwarts in a, another school in America, and that was just, oh, that made me nerd out just a bit. Just a bit. But yeah, as far as negatives go, there is something about the pacing, for sure, because the movie felt very, very long to me. I feel like the movie could have been just a touch shorter, just, you know, just by hair. This is a really, really big one for me, but I thought that the CGI in this film, really weak, honestly. Um, and it's not that it was bad, it's just that it was very unconvincing. It didn't feel tactile, you know. It Actually, a lot of times, most of the time, the CGI actually took me out of the movie. Because it was just so blatantly CGI. Unreal. You know, it was it was so clear to me every time I saw a heavy CGI shot that I was like, huh. I mean, the scene's cool and everything, but my God, I know that's fake. This is not a negative, but the Johnny Depp reveal. And I had heard a little bit of whispers that Johnny Depp might be in the sequels, but I did not expect to see him in this film. So that totally just shell shocked me. Like that blew my mind. Intriguing to me. He says, will we die just a little? And he says this as a question. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts on that last uh, phrase from Grindelwald. L let me know your guys' thoughts on that down below. Will we die just a little? I don't know what that means, but that stuck with me as I left the film. I was like, what, what did he say? What? I didn't think that the movie was a masterpiece, but I, I am all aboard for the upcoming sequels. This was an incredible uh, thrill ride. Lots of fun. I'm feeling a 8. 8 out of 10 for this film. But, you know, what did you think? Let me know down below. In the right, at the uh, bottom right hand corner of the screen, there's a circular button. Click that and you can subscribe instantly. So definitely make sure you uh, subscribe, like, comment. I'm out. Peace.